hope you guys are having a great day today. It is Tuesday. Um, ah, ooh, I almost just fell out of my chair right there, guys. Um, today we have kind of like, I don't know, a mosh, mod podge, I guess you could say, of things going on. Um, in this video, this isn't necessarily like a normal whipping chat or a normal like showing you this new thing or I don't know. It's just going to be like a mixture of things. Okay. So hopefully you can hang uh, so that you get all the good information and all that good stuff. So um, I'm just sorry. I'm getting some new um, mud in my in my pan here before I start so that I can just breeze on through this foreplay so I tell you guys is is um kicking my butt because I've had it for so long that it's certain you know when you've used a four-placer for a long time when you get the grooves of the drills you know yeah that's what's happening to me so I'm trying to correct it a little bit because yeah I don't like doing this too much because it doesn't I don't know I feel like it doesn't get it as nice as it is when it's brand new but it does work somewhat you can kind of reflatten it with a nail file or a sharp knife or something like that um not to give you like some secrets that will make it so you don't want to buy them ever again but i like to save y'all some money so all you do basically i'll just show you while i'm doing it um, so i just take all the wax out i just make sure i take the wax out and i just take a plain nail file and i don't want to do this over my um muscle area here let me actually let me do this. Here we go. Okay. I'll put this down because I don't want to get it on my canvas itself. So, um, anyway, so I take my nail file and I take my four placer and then I just file it. Do, 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 do. And it doesn't usually take much. The only thing is you want to make sure you're doing it flat and you're not pushing if you push hard on one side not the other then you're going to get it, it to where it's like bloop. you don't want that so now what i do after i file it i get my sharp box knife and i just go along the sides like this just to make sure you know when the nail file will like leave the the edging kind of i don't know if you know what i mean and so i just kind of make sure that there's no edging on it Cause then that'll get in the way so and then after that y'all I take my finger and I go like this and then look it looks almost brand new and this one had some grooves so let me show you one actually that I had used for a while um, so you can kind of see what I mean by the difference so here's the one I just did, and here's one with grooves. Can you see that? In this one, the grooves aren't even that bad, the one I'm holding in my fingers here. But you can definitely still see the grooves. And then you look at that one, and it looks brand new, even though it looked worse than this one a few minutes ago. So that is a little secret um, to getting these to last a little bit longer. Now, you still have to replace them because you can't file it like I have found that I can only do the file trick about two or three times before it's then gone too much to where I have to just bite the bullet and grab a new one. Um, and even though I have them like at my disposal, I still don't want to use them if I don't have to get a new one. You know, it might not like cost out of my pocket right away, but it still does. So, okay guys. So for this new, um, product y'all are you ready for this are you ready for this i want to get out a brand new one so that you guys will, will know exactly what it's going to look like when it comes to you okay so i know that these have been out in the community where um 
if you had a pen like this and you bent it to where it was curved, it got big, right? Okay, well, look at this. If you are a plastic tip lover, you're going to freak and love this. All right, ready? Bam. Look at that. So you now have a bent, a bent tip, but it's a plastic tip. And so it comes on this pen. You get a cute little pink squishy, or if you'd rather a blue one, I can sw swap it out for blue. And then on it, you will also get a 10 placer. Yeah. So it's like two in one. And then you can pop it out just like I do and put it in your favorite pen because it's just like the other ones, you know, it's just like the other ones. So uh, let me pull it out. So yeah, it's just like the other ones, how, you know, you can put it into different things. Um, and I tell you what, you guys, I never got like completely on board with the bent tip like this. But as I've said before, anything I'm going to put in my shop, I test out because I want to make sure it's something that I want to put my name on. You know, I'm not saying I like created it, but if I'm going to put it in my shop, then I am basically saying, yeah, it's worth worth it for you guys to spend your money on this product and buy it. And I won't put anything in my shop that I don't feel that way about. So I got these yesterday and no, I take that back. I got them two days ago. No, today's what day? Tuesday? Saturday. I got them Saturday. So I am in freaking love with them. Um, and I didn't start using it until like Saturday night time um, after my live and everything. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am addicted to it. So addicted to it. Like, I thought, I'm just going to use it a little bit to see if I, you know, if, if, if I think that the people who like the bent tips will like it. Because I never was one that was, like, obsessed with that whole thing. But I was like, people are. So as long as it works, then they'll, they'll be on board. No, I l freaking love it, you guys. It is different in than the bent tip in the sense that it is much longer. So you can actually, like, if you ever have a problem with seeing where you're putting your drills, not anymore, you will not have that problem. You can see exactly where you are placing your drill because your pen is no longer in the freaking way. Yes, I said freaking way because there are times where I'm like, you know, okay, normal time, right? Boop, can't see, so I have to turn my head over. Like, it actually bugs me sometimes. But with this thing, mm -mm, not no more. Not no more. So I have literally been using this solely. Like, I've done some multi-placing because, well, I just can't stop with the multi-placer. But anytime I'm doing one at a time, I'm using this baby. It's amazing. I love it. And it works just like a normal, um, if you like plastic tip, just works normal like a plastic tip it's just now you can see what you're doing and your wrist you guys because you know how you usually go like this to pick your drill up then you bring your 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 hand over and there's a lot of this going on right um with your wrist this one you don't have to twist your wrist at all you just go over to get it and then you move your hand back over there so there's no this you know so, um, those of you like me with carpal tunnel and stuff like issues like that, this can be a lifesaver. Anyways, I was very excited about it. So they will be up in the shop today. I will probably link post them actually, or list them. I mean, before I, um, upload this video just because, um, I'm guessing there's going to be quite a few of you that are going to be like going right now to get that. And I don't want you to head over to get it and have it not be there yet. So I will probably just list it and then upload. That way there is no problems um, with those of you that want to get them. 
Um, I also have some new, like, not new, well, I always have new product in the store, like, every week. Um, I bring in, you know, some new design things, um, one-of-a-kind things, that kind of stuff. But I do have some um, product that people are have asked a lot about, like the hummingbird right now. Um, let's see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the hummingbird is one of those that people constantly ask me when I'm going to be getting more, when I'm going to be getting more, because there's something that it's a little harder to get. Um, I might actually put in an order of, uh, of them, but the problem is, is that one comes in a set. So in order to get that one, I have to get a different one with it, which is the, um, uh, the beetle, which don't get me wrong. I like the beetle. I'll show you which one I'm talking about. Okay, so this beetle is the one, and it comes with the hummingbird. Um, and, I mean, come on. You know that you're going to sell about 20 times, sorry, I mean to wiggle the camera, 20 times more of the hummingbird than you do the beetle. So, um, I have the beetles on sale um, because that way I can continue to get those and get the hummingbirds out to you guys because I know y'all love... <laughs> Can you guys hear that? That's Eli. He's barking in his sleep, you guys. So cute. He does it all the time. He has some interesting dreams, I think. I'd love to know what's going on in his dreams because he does that all the time. It's so cute. Anyway, so I've got the hummingbirds in the shop right now. Um, I have... I think I have one unicorn left in the shop. Um, yeah, I think that's it. But anyways, these will be up in the shop later. So will these little cute bunnies. They look like a little chocolate bunny, don't you think? Like a little chocolate Easter bunny. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. Anyways. Okay, let's go back to where I was working here. Back over here. Um, anyways, so I forgot what I was talking about before, before Eli's dream so rudely interrupted me. I kid, I kid. Anything that, like, is a, with the dogs, I'm not joking, it never gets old, like, well, I can't take that, I take that back. Picking up dog poop, that gets old. Um, but no, I mean, when it comes to, like, their dreams, their silly dreams, or the silly sounds they make, or, you know, the way they annoyingly jump up on you when you're on the couch. Like, neither one of them jump up, like, on you when you're standing up. Like, they've been taught that's a big no-no. And, but you get up on that couch, you better believe they're going to be like, can I cuddle with you, please? Hmm? You're much more cozy than the couches by itself. But all that stuff, like, I just love. And when they're playing, even when they get, like, super loud and obnoxious, I still, like, I still love it. Love it. Anyways. Okay, so I have a little list of things that I wanted to make sure that I went over because typically I get into these, like, whip and chat style videos. And even if it, like, is supposed to have, like, some structure, I will just start talking like I have been and completely forget and then I get to like an hour and I'm like I haven't even discussed what I wanted to discuss discuss <laughs> discuss and so this time I was prepared and I wrote it down and I'm like I need to go off of this list so that I don't forget what I'm going to talk about because I know it's funny because some of you guys Say you have a hard time doing whip and chats because you have a hard time coming up with things to say. Um, and I get that because there are a lot of people out there that just don't talk like, you know, like I do. <laughs> like I, you know, it's just the way it is. I am super, super talkative. I don't have an issue coming up with things to say. Now, granted, the things I say might not be like super interesting to you, um, but I can talk. And I can talk, and I can talk. 
about anything. Put a fly on the wall and I'll find something to talk about it. Like, just the way I am. Um, but anyways, I digress. Let's see. I need to look at my list. So I just, hold on. I gotta pick up my diamond paint a little bit so I can look at it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is my Finished Friday videos. Now, love Finished Friday. I love seeing all your guys' finished artwork. Well, well actually, I I'm going to back take a one step back real quick. I love seeing your guys' whips. Today is Tuesday. If you would like to get your whip, work in progress, in my Whip It Wednesday video, Please make sure you go to my Facebook group, join our Facebook group, and then there is a post. The post says something like, win a free cover minder or pen. Because yes, I do take the participants of that video and I will draw a name from the, those people and somebody will win a free diamond painting pen or a free cover minder um, and that is just I do that just as a way to say thank you for participating because without y'all I can't do that whip it Wednesday video it's not possible now granted since the very beginning even back when like my channel was brand new and nobody nobody knew about it and I hardly had any subscribers I've always been able to do that video um, and that is solely because I had a Facebook group long before I had a YouTube channel. Like, it's my Facebook group that um, can take the credit for, well, yeah, it's, it's my Facebook group that can take the credit for me having a YouTube channel. Because I used to make them videos all the time just for that on YouTube, I mean on Facebook. And so many of them were like, you need to make a YouTube channel. You should make a YouTube channel. I finally was like, okay. So I did. So if you go on there, there will be that link. You can also um, Facebook private message it to me if you would prefer to do that. Or you can email them to me at shinelikeadiamond2019 at gmail.com. Um, um, and those are the places that you, you can also Etsy or in, yeah, um, Instagram it to me, but I tell you, I don't always check my Instagram every day. So that is a place that if there's nowhere else you can do, that's the only place you can do. Um, you can try that and I will do my best to go and check it. But, um, if you, you know, want to get it on, the current week you might want to try doing it on Facebook or um, or if you do it on Etsy and then you can Facebook message me or I don't know whatever just I'll try my best to check over there anyways so um, I already have a handful that, of people I am going to start putting that post out on Monday so that I can start working on it on Tuesday rather than doing it to Wednesday morning like I have been doing. Because last week I was all like ready to do it. I had all the people um, ready to go and then um, things happened and it was like one thing after another. And it just, I don't remember what happened last week, but there were things going on that I couldn't get out of. And that it just was taking, it was not good. It was not good. And so I wasn't able to do that video. Um, and, you know, that broke my heart just a little bit. Because I I had already had everybody ready and everything. And so, um, yeah. So I'm going to start doing them on Tuesday. And then I'll just finish them Wednesday morning. Um, but that way at least I'll have it started. So I'll be putting it up, like I said, on Monday instead of on Tuesday. So, now, moving on to what I was going to say. Finished Friday. Love me some Finished Friday. I love seeing all your guys' finished masterpieces. Love to show them off. Um, you know, it's a great way to see what's out there, to see what, like, maybe you'd like to try, or a new company, you know, or whatever, or an image you just love and just miss somehow. 
Um, and also, it's just a fun way of showing off all your hard work. Because, yes, even though it is not hard, like, as in challenging. I mean, for some people it might be, though. But it is time-consuming. It is, um, you know, time management. And there's a lot of work put into these diamond paintings. And so I like showing them off. Um, and so what I had been trying to do was the second Tuesday of the month. And it just seemed like there was so much crap going on that I always would forget or something. And then I'd be like, oh my gosh, we're already into the third week. Mm, oops. So what I'm going to do now, because I think this will help me a little bit. Um, and I, I do have my planner now, which has been amazing. I didn't have a planner before and I do now. And it has helped so much with like what I need to get done, when I need to get it done, when I go to the post office, all the people that I need to, their, their orders, all those people that need to be, what day they need to be there, all that kind of stuff. So I am very much using my planner. Um, I, yeah, it's being put to good use, you guys. It really is. So I now have my um, finished Friday video in the planner. And so there shouldn't be an issue anymore with, with it all. So, um, I, but I am going to move it from the second week to the first week. So the first Friday of every month is when I will be doing the, um, yeah, the, uh, oh my gosh, finish Friday video. My brain just had a total brain fart there for a second. So yeah, so the first week I will be doing finish Friday. So I will be putting a link out probably Wednesday, but this is one of those things that you can message those to me anytime you want. Um, if I see one that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Then I try to message you guys because I will not put any of any work up without permission like that. I will not do. And so, um, you either have to message it to me or I will get in contact with you because I'm not going to take your work off of a site and then just put it on my video. Like, I just won't do that. So, um, anyway, so yeah, if you want to share any of yours, then and it, you could have, you can enter more than one and I can either split them up or whatever. We just do what you want to do and we'll, we'll work it out. But, um, I am excited to get those going again because they are something, and it's also really fun to have, um, hold on a second. This is driving me crazy. I accidentally built two colors together and it's just bugging me so anyways um what was I gonna say about that I don't remember oh it's fun to watch the ones in whip it Wednesday as they progress and then get to see them finished in the finished Friday that is a lot of fun especially the ones like we don't know what they are um, and we're all trying to guess and figure out what they are. And then you see it in the finished Friday video and it's like, whoa. Um, yeah, I love, I just love those. So, um, so yeah, those are going to be starting again and I will be doing that every month. Um, the reason I don't do it on a weekly basis is just because I feel like there's just not, I don't know, there, there's probably enough of them out there to do it, but it's a little harder because you it does take longer to finish one obviously than just having progress on one like I do with the progress updates but the other thing is is that those even though I absolutely like I said love making the finished Friday and the whip it Wednesday videos they are the ones that take me the longest to edit um just just the editing I'm not talking about the voiceover or I'm yeah sorry I am just talking about the editing where I'm like doing the voiceovers and stuff I'm not talking about anything else no upload no um export nothing just the purely editing can take anywhere from four to eight hours just to edit it so because I have to get it all I have to collect it in one place then I have to do all the voiceovers and so it is um like I said time consuming so to do a Whip It Wednesday video and a Finish Friday video every week 
would be too much. Now, I have thought about, and I might do in the future, I don't know, where I would do, um, like, one week I would do a Whip It Wednesday, and then the next week I would do a Finish Friday. Um, I don't know. But for right now, we will just be doing the Finish Friday once a month. So, if you have thoughts, ideas, um, concerns, I don't care. If you, if you have anything going through your brain about that and you want to share it with me, please do. You can leave it in the comments below. Or you can also private message me on Facebook or through my email. Any of those are totally fine. Um, anyway, so if you any anytime in the month you want to give me your finished Friday, you don't have to wait. Um, you can get it to me and I just put it in my folder um, of those videos. And so that way I know where they all are. And um, I can add it that way too so that you don't have to try to remember to do it. So, and I probably will be doing a drawing for those as well, just as my little way of saying thank you for, um, you know, not only watching the videos, but participating in these videos. Because without y'all, like, I, I, I'm just sitting here talking to myself, like, so. Um, and I thank you guys so much. I have, am starting now to make money on YouTube, which is amazing. And the money I make from YouTube, you guys, that money is going directly back into the channel. I know that, um, you know, the extra money that I've been bringing in through Etsy and like all that kind of stuff, any extra money that we have been making has been going towards getting Maddie her new service dog. But the money I am going to be making on YouTube, it will be going back into the channel. So that will get things like new diamond paintings, new diamond painting tools. If you want me to try out a company for you, um, it'll go towards like things like a new camera or that kind of stuff. Um, because I do right now, I don't have a camera. I have a cell phone and I do all of my recording on my cell phone. Now, that is not a problem. I have been doing it since I started and it seems to work just fine. However, there are benefits to having like an actual camera. Um, and with my Etsy store, I think having an, ex an actual camera would be nice as well. So I could take some, you know, nicer pictures of my product because I mean, really, it is a visual thing, and the nicer the picture of the product, the more people are going to be like, ooh, I like that. You know what I mean? So, anyways, so just saying, any money that I've been making on YouTube, um, it does go directly back into the channel. So, but thank you guys so much, because you are the ones that have got me here to my 1,000 subscriber mark where I could get monetized and where YouTube has now, you know, started to pay me and everything. So that's awesome. And because I made, I loved making these videos prior to getting paid. So getting paid for making those video, these videos is awesome. Anyway, so we're going to switch gears um, a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about the auction um, that I'm going to I, I know I told you guys I was going to be doing one again. And um, I just didn't have the dates and the details and everything because there was a lot going on. And I did two already. So I took like a little bit of a hiatus on, um, you know, doing that. But I'm, I am doing that. I am going to be doing it now. So, um all of those, of course, all of the orders that have been between then and now will count because I did tell you guys that they would. So they will still count. I just haven't talked about it um, or set a date because I was trying to, you know, organize everything. But um, I will be doing a um, the raffle drawing giveaway thing within. So today is Wednesday. And I'm not sure the date. Let me pull my calendar up. Give me one second. Okay. Um, sorry. One of my dogs is snoring. Funny. Anyways. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the raffle on the 7th. So Saturday the 7th during my live will be the raffle drawing. 
with all of you guys that have bought anything over $10 in, in the Shine Shop. So, you have until Saturday the 7th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember that, Pacific Standard Time. Because I need those, I need that couple hours to, to get, you know, your stuff into the drawing. So, so you have till the 7th, March 7th, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to get your order in. Once your order is in, for every $10 you spend in that shine shop, you get entered into a drawing. And that drawing is for three different Diamond Art Club paintings. Which ones will it be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. But I will know. And I will make a video solely just about the raffle. Um, and I will let you know like th which paintings you will be able to choose from. Because I do give you guys an option to choose from like, you know, five or six, ten, whatever. I don't know. Um, I usually and will have a newer one again in that raffle I just am not 100% sure which one it will be so but I can guarantee you they will be ones that are popular I don't do the raffles and give away like the small tiny ones or I don't do the ones that like not a lot of people are into I do the ones that you guys want you know what I mean so hopefully you understand, I'm not saying there's like a ton of them out there that Diamond Art Club has that like nobody wants or anything. I'm just saying like there are definitely ones that people gravitate more to. Like I've given a lot of them away that are already sold out in Diamond Art Club. Because then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting another chance to get this painting that I can no longer get anymore. Because it's already sold out. So, um... That is how we will do that. So the seventh, every $10 you spend, we'll get another entry into the shine shop. So if you spend $50, you're going to get five entries in. If you are, um, let's say you already you're, already have a lot and you don't need another diamond painting, um, but you're going to buy just because you like something or you want to, you know, support the cause, um, those of you that might be new, the cause is getting my 10-year-old daughter a um, a service dog for her type 1 diabetes. It will do things like alert to high and low blood sugars. It will get, get her juice boxes if she needs it from the fridge. It will get her little kit that she needs to check her blood, blood sugar on. It will help her during those moments of um, lower high blood sugar where she's extremely frustrated or emotional. Um, and so those are just some of the things that the service dog can do. So that is what we are raising money for. And all of the proceeds go towards, um, getting her, her service dog. So, um, what was I talking about though? Oh, so for every, five, for every, uh, $10 you spend, you get an entry, but let's say you don't need another diamond painting. Or you're like me and you're trying to kind of cut your stash down a little bit. And so you're like, um, I, I want to buy something because I want to support the cause. Or I want to buy something because, ooh, I love that cover binder or that pen. Um, you can either say nothing or you can donate your entries to um, a fellow diamond painter that you think maybe can't afford it but would love to be in the drawing. Um, my last drawing was, um, Drea one, and she had not bought anything at that time. And so she was in the, in the live listening and stuff, and she was just working and lurking. And she heard her name and she was like, well, that must be a mistake. And so it was a lot of fun for her to be able to, um... To win something at, at a complete surprise, you know, like it, yeah. So if you decide that you don't want the winnings, then you can let me know and you can say, hey, you can donate my um, entries to whoever I want, or you can say, hey, I want to donate my entries to this person. So you can let me decide, or you can decide um, because I did have quite a few people 
that did that because they just did, they don't need any more diamond paintings and um what they did want they could just you know get themselves and so they thought it would be nice to be able to pass those entries along to um a fellow diamond painter that maybe wouldn't be able to get entered by themselves or wouldn't be able to buy these the diamond paintings for themselves so that is um Really, I think all I have to say about the raffle. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do read all of my comments, um, and I will get back to you. Or you can do a private message me through Facebook or my email. It doesn't matter. Just any comments you got or questions you got, just reach out. Um, I'm more than happy to answer anything you want to be answered. Um, okay, let me move along. Hold on, I've got to look at my list. Okay, so along those same lines, um, we are going, so I, I, it, uh, bleh, oh my word, my mouth just like stopped working for a second. I don't know if it was my mouth or my brain or a little bit, a little bit of both. But, so Sunday... I was in um, Crafts with Crashly. By the way, girl, that is a tongue twister sometimes to say. My brain doesn't just wants to mess it up. Anyways, I was in Crafts with Crashly's live on Sunday. And oh my gosh, you guys, it was so much fun. I like, I don't think I've had that much fun doing a live to this day. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I will try my absolute best to put it in the comments below. If I forget, um, anybody, including Ashley, you guys are more than welcome to put that in the, um, the comment section. But I will do my absolute best to remember to link that video below because it was so much fun. We had like 40 something people during that live and it was it was hilarious it was really really fun we um talked a little bit and then we played mad gab um that game is so funny like so funny <laughs> some of them were so hard and then other ones were like oh yeah um and yes yours truly i won i won um <laughs> I'm just teasing, but I did win. Uh, so it was a little challenge she had. So we each did um, like two and a half rounds. Um, and it was so funny. There were some that were like so hard. But when you you could hear the other person saying it. And so it was like you could fi you knew what it was, but they, they didn't. Because they're the ones trying to figure it out. It was just so much fun. It was so much fun. I want to play that game now because I, I love it. Like, yeah, it was funny. And it was one of the times it was, I could not figure it out. And um, my husband was in here <laughs> and, um, or he was in the kitchen. He was in the kitchen getting something to eat. And he almost said it because he knew what it was. And he didn't know I was playing a game. And so he like came in and, and he started to say it. Luckily, he said the first word that I had already knew. And so I like was like, shh, 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 you know, to him. And so he stopped really quickly. And then he, the whole time I was trying to figure it out, he's just in the background laughing at me because he was just like, he knew what it was. And he, he picks on me so much, like jokingly. Um, he gives me a hard time because I have a hard time talking. Like, well, you guys all know that. Um, there are things I have said, like, yes, the one, the famous one of Twickers, which I mixed up Snickers and Twix bar, and I said Twickers. Didn't even realize I did it. Yeah, nobody in this house would let me live that one down. Um, uh, but I do things like that all the time. But it was just hilarious. It was the funnest game. And Kerwin, her husband, who does, um, he, like, produces it. And I'm not kidding you when I say he produces it. He freaking produces it. He should. He could be like an actual producer. He is amazing, you guys. Amazing. Like, I'm like, uh, can I hire you, please? He is so good. He, yeah. I, I really can't describe what he does. You just have to go and watch the video yourself. 
and find out what he does. But anyways, it was a blast. So, but during the live, we were talking about the fundraising that we're doing for Maddie and stuff. And I don't remember if, if it was Crashly's idea or if it was somebody that was in the chat's idea. I can't remember. I think it might have actually been Jennifer, Diamond Painting Jennifer Adventures. Um, I think it might have been her idea. I can't remember, though. Um, anyways, I had shown my tins in that live, and which I can grab a couple of them. I'm not going to show all of them because, well, that would just take too much time. But let me grab a couple to show you. Ooh, reaching. I'm sorry. I'm reaching. I'm reaching for you. Um, okay. So this one is for um, Don Marie. I just finished it. Like, just finished it. Then we've got, like, mermaids. Open it up like that. We got mermaids. We've got like a pastel butterfly. This one has a tiny bit of a smush right there, but still super pretty. Um, this one, I actually haven't finished the inside yet. I can't finish that inside. This one is my personal one, but I mean, if somebody really, really, really liked it, I would give it up because I could always make something similar. But, um, so this one has my cover minders in it. So this is what they're for. They're just like a little cover minder keeper. So these are my personal cover minders that I myself don't want to accidentally sell or get rid of. And so, um, I have them in my little tin. Um, here's another favorite was this one. It is a, the peacocks. Look how pretty. Yeah. So, uh, here we go. Boop. And that's on the inside. And it's all like, it's kind of glossy feeling. Anyway. Um, and so these were, um, I was showing them because I had just finished a bunch of them that I was going to list on my shop. And then somebody had the idea to do like, an, we were talking about how I did that auction for those moon cover minders. Um, Mrs. Coffee has one of them and Mallory has one of them now. And who else? Teresa has one of them. And I have one that I'm hoping I can get soon for Jeremy because he really wanted that one too. And so anyways, I did this auction for those. And of course, all the proceeds go to getting Maddie her dog. So it's not like I'm just over here like money, money, money. Um, he, so anyways, I could not believe how high people went. Like I thought the max was going to be $20. Nope, nope. 40 and 45 dollars for one cover minder y'all like I was amazed and I actually cried afterwards because I was like so touched that people cared enough to do that like amazing amazing anyway so so many so Jennifer was like you should auction your tins like that would be great because those tins I'm not joking I put them in the shop they're gone within like an hour or two they go really really fast because they're hard for me to make um it takes it's not that they're hard they're time consuming because each one is hand painted so they're all painted different you know different colors and they all have different designs and different things on them some have tattoos on them some have stickers some are just painted like solely hand painted some have the drills that I use like they're just a multitude of things and so yeah it does take a lot of time to do one um and then I decoupage on the inside so um I was gonna list though so I was showing them and Jennifer said why don't you auction the tins and then it went from there it snowballed like what if and I believe it was Crashly that said it she's like what if we got like old di diamond paintings that people didn't want anymore and we could auction those off and like and it just went from there and it was like we as creators and as subscribers could get together and do this like big auction kind of a thing we would do it in a live and we would get everything together and get it all ready and then we would do an auction and all of the proceeds of course would go towards getting Maddie her dog we are getting close, guys. Um, we are, our goal is at least 3,000. Um, if you don't understand or know much about service dogs, they are expensive. 
And this is with us doing the majority of the training. If you get a dog that is trained already and you go and do the training with them to teach you how to use the dog, that can be an upwards of twenty to thirty thousand dollars. It's crazy. This is with us just getting the puppy and doing the training with you know myself because I do do some training, um, and then with my um, old boss, um, you know doing group classes and doing private classes as well so um and then everything on top of that that you need to have so we it, it's just expensive so we are about right now six hundred dollars away from our goal um but if we there there are things that have kind of come up in the past couple days where i told maddie i was like it, you know it might be good if we can do a little bit more than our goal so that we are comfortable in getting the dog and not having to worry about anything um you want to get that dog on insurance for vet bills you want to have like vet bills for a year like all of that stuff you want to make sure anytime you get a dog not just a service dog that you're prepared because they are not cheap anybody who owns a dog can tell you owning a dog is not cheap um if you're feeding them good, healthy food, if you're taking them to the vet and getting vet care like you should be, then it's not, they're not cheap. It's like a kid. Kids aren't cheap either. Um, and those of you who have kids, y'all know that. Uh, they can be, they can be a uh, hardship there on your, on your wallet. But anyway, so this is a of great importance to us because Maddie is a type 1 diabetic and um, if you don't know the difference between that and like normal diabetes like that you might say oh my grandma has no this is not your grandma's diabetes um, and she also is considered like a high risk because she has blood sugars that tank she just drops so fast um, and so that's when her doctor was like, hey, have you thought about maybe getting a service dog? And we did. And Maya was wonderful. And she was, she literally saved Maddie's life twice um, when Maddie dropped below 20 and was having a seizure. And Maya, like, I didn't wake up to her first alert. So she jumped on me to wake me up. Like she, and as soon as she jumped on me, I knew something was wrong. Um, but we sadly had to put her down in December, um, because she had liver failure. And so that is why we right now are raising the money to, um, to get her a new one because it really does help her. It helps me. Um, I sleep better knowing I have, you know, a second pair of, well, I could say eyes, but it's actually the nose of the dog that does the work. Um, <laughs> it's all in the nose. It's all in the schnoggin. Um, the dog actually senses the smell of the blood sugar change. And that is how they do what they do, which is really cool. So anyways, so this big auction that we're going to have, it's going to be putting together. I will be working on it. Um, I think Crashly is going to be helping me work on it as well. Um, but I will be doing the live on my channel. Um... And I'm not, we don't have a date as of when it'll happen yet because I'm sure putting all of this together is going to take a few weeks. It's going to take at least two weeks, I can imagine. Um, because, you know, we're going to be getting things from other creators, other subscribers. Like, so if you have, let's say, a diamond painting laying around your house that you're like, meh, I could do without that. Like, I don't really need that. Or um, if you've got some diamond painting pens, like acrylic pens, people love acrylic pens. Um, if you have some acrylic pens that you don't want or need anymore, or cover minders you don't want or need anymore, or um, if you want to go as far as like getting a gift certificate, anything goes, like anything um, that we can put in this auction would be amazing. And then we'll have the time of the auction and we'll have everybody kind of come in in the chat and I will make sure to have a certain amount of moderators and people watching so that there is no confusion and nobody is like Mr. You know, nobody wins and then doesn't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we're going to have it down to a T when we, when we do this. So, um, I might even bring in Crashly to that live, like, uh, you know, 
to where she can talk and, and be in that live with me to kind of help me kind of go through it. So um, we already have some creators that have messaged me just after the Sunday live that when we were kind of just talking about getting this going. Um, I've already had a few people message me saying like, hey, I've got a couple diamond paintings that I can do without. And um, I've had some other people message me saying like, hey, what can I do? Like, what do you need? Like, so um, if you have something or want to participate in some way, um, please, you can either message me on Facebook or on my email, either one, totally fine. So just let me know and we will, um, we'll get this going. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be amazing. And I think that, I, th I think there will be tears between me and Maddie. Um, I, I don't, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that happens. Um, and I think it's going to be a really fun, like kind of a community event. Like I really think this community is awesome. Like it really is. I cannot, we would not be here right now if it wasn't for this community. When we first raised money for Maya, we only raised a thousand, which was nowhere near enough. Um, but it took us a year to get there. And when I told Maddie this time, like, honey, I'm sorry, but we're going to need more like 3000 this time. She broke down. She's like, that's going to take forever. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't think it'll take as long because I knew, you know, I could raise money like through the Etsy shop and stuff like that. But, um, you guys are amazing. Amazing. I can't thank you enough. Like I wish there was something I could do for each and every one of you that have, um, given in some way, whether it be buying stuff on the store or, you know, donating through GoFundMe or even just sharing the GoFundMe or my store page. Even that is super helpful, you guys. So, um, I just, I'm, I'm very blessed and humbled by this, by this whole experience. And I know people can say that and it's easy just to be like, oh, I'm so humbled or whatever, but it's true. It's so, so true. And like, I wish I could explain it or say thank you in more of a way that you guys could feel it. But I don't know how else to say thank you, but by, but just saying thank you. <sighs> okay. Moving on. So we will be getting that together. So yes, if you want to be a part of it, if you want to donate or, you know, if you want to be a mod in that um, auction to where you can help out, Please just reach out and message me. Um, I think you can actually reach out and mes message Crashly as well. I know she's going to be helping me do it. So, um, and, and more news will come following this. This is just me kind of getting it out there, letting y'all know so that you guys can start saying, oh yeah, I've got a diamond painting or whatever. Um, but I will have like a video just about the auction um, within the next coming days or week when I get everything more ironed out, like who's going to be exactly helping putting it on and when it's going to be and all of that stuff. So, um, watch, watch for that video to come. Okay. And the next one that I, the next thing I just kind of wanted to get out there is, um, I'm going to be doing a, um, a collab here. And I think we're going to start it next week if we can. Um, if not, it'll be the following. But I believe, you know, we kind of talked about doing it, trying to get it going next week. But it is going to be something so fun and different that I have not seen anybody else do it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to be awesome. And um, so we will be doing that together um, I'm not even sure at this point yet what diamond painting we're going to do or if we're even going to do the same one because with what we're going to do, it doesn't really have to be the same diamond painting, but I am stoked you guys. Like I, I don't even know if that word is used anymore, but I'm going to use it. I'm stoked. I'm really happy and really excited. Like, um, I love that Crashly is doing this Sunday social thing that she's come up with. Um, and because I don't think that I would have met, well, I mean, I probably would have met her, but not in the same way. And since we started talking, we have like so much in common 
and we are so much alike and I just love her like already we are really really close and um, I cannot wait to do this collab with her so we will be starting that next week and of course I will announce that when it starts um, and we'll let you know kind of what we're going to be doing and everything. But it's going to be fun. Um, I think that's it for announcements, guys. This was kind of like a whip and chat announcement video, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. I don't know. What else? But um, one thing I could say, but I'm going to, I'll message people too as well. But if you have ordered from my shop, there will be um. A video going out either later today or tomorrow from the post office drop off because I'm going to be going to the post office in a few hours and as soon as my hubby gets home with the car um, I will be going and um, dropping all those off there are a couple that I will be like I said I will be contacting you that won't go out until Thursday um, because, or Friday, just because, um, I ran out of the big magnets. Um, and if you order things like, um, the, the wash basin, that has a big magnet on it. And there's, a, there's quite a few other ones that have big magnets on it. Now, most of them I was able to do. I only, I think there's only one or two, um, orders that I wasn't able to finish because of magnet situations but most of them I was able to I try really hard to manage when and how much I use but um, I had a huge order of um, the wash basins and so I used more than I thought and then of course when I need them they're on back order so I was like great lovely you know, Amazon Prime supposed to be two days and it's six. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. So this time though, I ordered like a ton. <laughs> like a ton. I'm like, I ain't running out of magnets again. This is annoying as all get out. So I ordered a lot of them. And in div oh, I ordered other sizes too. Because um, running out of magnets is the last thing that should happen. Like it just shouldn't happen. So um, I need to be better organized on that on that front and I'm getting there and I love my planner because it is helping me but yeah I, I I always message the people and they're not I don't even think actually when I think about it I don't even think the orders will be officially late as far as like um my shipping guidelines go but I try to get things out as fast as I can and so I just I just like to keep you guys in the loop and, and updated on what's going on with your guys' packages. Um, I think, I think that's it. I believe it is. So in this video, y'all could see how awesome this tip is. And I wouldn't say that just to say it. Like, I mean it. I love this tip. Um... Yeah, I do. And I'm not even, like, a huge plastic tip person. I use the plastic tip, but it's not, like, oh, I only only use the plastic tip. Like, that's not, no. I use the metal tip, actually, more than the, you know, the plastic and the metal tip. You know what I'm talking about, the traditional one? More than I used the plastic one before. Then I found this beauty, and I'm like, oh, my ever-loving gosh. This is now my best friend when it comes to diamond painting. Um, yes, please. Especially when I don't use my light pad or it's a little bit darker in the room and it's harder to see exactly where that symbol is. This just makes it so much nicer because you can 100% see where exactly you're putting your drill down with this tip, which I think is awesome. So, anyways... All right, you guys, I am going to say goodbye, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, don't forget to watch out for that post office drop-off video. Uh, most likely, it will be tonight and tomorrow. Watch for that Whip It Wednesday video to come. 
Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a good one by the things I've already received. So don't forget. Um, but with that being said, as always, don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are loved more than you know. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to keep shining and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.